Hi, this is Oddball 1975 and today I want to do the story of how Lot Lot or Evil, the chicken, came to live with us. Now, Lot Lot, as she was originally known, came to us as a rescue case. She was living in a large flock of birds and because she's nearly blind or partially sighted, she was getting picked on and struggling to get food, which meant she was very underweight and was losing feathers because the other birds were attacking her to try and get to the food before her. So like the majority of our chickens, Lot Lot came to us as a rescue case and we put her in with Guy. And as you can see from these pictures, Guy was a beautiful looking bird, almost phoenix like in colour. Uh, Guy was Boo Boo's brother and unlike Boo Boo, Guy was very bright. Boo Boo is a black and silver bird. Now Lot Lot loved living with Guy and his ladies and spent a good six months living outside with them. But unfortunately all good things come to an end and we had quite a hideous and uh, horrendous fox attack in which we lost the majority of Guy's flock. Uh, if it weren't for the actions of Guy who was found dead protecting his daughter, none of the chickens would have survived. But Lot Lot and a few of the other birds managed to make it back to the house and to the run and survived the fox attack. Now Lot Lot continued to live outside with the remaining ladies for a few months on their own. But the ladies were pining for another cockerel so we ended up picking up another rescue case who was an Australorp, an Australian breed of cockerel called Bruce. Someone had brought a load of eggs and they were supposed to be Andalusians and they hatched out and they were the wrong breed so no longer wanted we took in Bruce. Now Bruce was a lovely looking bird and an incredibly nice temperament probably the nicest chicken we've ever had. Now Bruce was an amazing looking bird and had a coat that was almost like an oil slick so black it was shiny and literally looked like an oil set when you got close to it. Now all the other hens loved him, absolutely adored him, but Lot Lot hated him. Maybe it's because she was partially sighted and nearly blind, maybe she was scared of him and could barely see him because he was so black, but she started to lose weight and became ill. Uh, for those of you taking notes of the gameplay, that was a 30 and 1 on Skippy Land, otherwise known as Grind which if you look Higgs joined session and was on the other team now because Lot Lot was getting ill she was brought indoors as a temporary measure for her to gain weight and brought in for some intensive care now very quickly after coming indoors she developed this nickname Evil because of the way she looked at you because of the way she looks because of her blindness and her comb and I've got to say just look at her. She just looks evil. She looks like a mad scientist chicken. And the way she treats the other animals in the house, seriously, she was just mean to them. She soon became queen bee of the house. All the other animals walked carefully around her in case they got pecked. But I swear, every time she looks at you, it looks like she's plotting something. I mean, seriously, look into her little beady eye. That is pure malice and evil in there, I'm telling you. So she became known as Evil, or Eves for short. And it's been her nickname and become her name since she's lived in the house. And instead of her living in the house being a temporary measure while she got better, it turned into a permanent move. And i got to say, she's made herself very comfortable living in the house and is very satisfied with her style of life. She especially likes her companion, Scumpy. It was brought in for her and turned out to be a massive ginger cockerel rather than a hen and she has made herself very very comfortable her three favorite spots in the house are inside her cage on the dog cage which is sat behind me looking at the television or underneath my gaming desk right between me and my xbox where she can sit and occasionally peck my fingers she has actually got a kill at Call of Duty. One day I was playing and I had my controller and she decided to start pecking at my fingers and the controller buttons and she managed to launch a grenade which went off and killed someone. So I say it was a genuinely funny moment for me. And I don't know many other gamers who would have to have a gaming setup like mine that has to work around and accommodate a chicken. Recently I had to clean my power pack out because she started making a nest around it and it was overheating. 
because of the feathers and because of her sleeping right next to it. So that's all for this video and that is the story of evil. And again, if you have any more questions about her, leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them. And thank you very much for watching.